Mac Voices at NAB 2024. Mac Voices is at NAB in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, last year we talked to Skyglass about their virtual production environments. And this year we have uh, some new things to talk about. And Taylor is going to tell us what's new and all about their virtual production. Taylor, it's great to meet you. It's great to meet you too. So you're fairly new with the company? I am. I started about two months ago. I'm one of the new software developers. Um, very excited to be with the team. Great. Well, it's good to have you. It's yeah. good to have you. And they put you in front of a camera. Well, of course. Yeah, you know, I, I'm an extrovert, so <laughs> I'm sure this is by design. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so first of all, let's start out at the basics. What does Skyglass do? Yeah, so we're a virtual production app, um, pretty much bringing a uh, all the complicated complications of vi uh, virtual video production down to the everyday user uh, within an Apple iOS app. Uh, so you can uh, use any of our uh, 100 uh, virtual environments that we have that are all built with Unreal Engine and uh, pretty much record any video that you'd hope to make, whether you're making short films, uh, promotional materials, uh, stuff for social media. Um, you can kind of do it all. So... I'm especially interested in your situation here because you are iOS and iPad OS based, which you know is a very a lot of interest to my audience. So, what is involved here? That I just pick up my phone, um, start your app, pick a background, and go for it. Pretty much, yeah. We're trying to make it as user friendly as possible. Um, you have a huge selection of environments to choose from, and we're adding more every day. Uh, we have search bar functionality, so you can kind of sort through them all. And then if you, aren't, you can't find something that you're looking uh, for, you also have the ability to create your own environments with Unreal Engine and bring them in uh, directly uh, to the app. Um, so kind of endless possibilities. Okay. Um, so let's see. What, what kind of output do I get? Uh, 1080p and 30 frames per second. Okay, so pretty much HD. Yes. Okay. Of uh, the as far as the backgrounds go, do I need a green screen? I know we have a model back here working on a blue screen. Is that something that gives? I uh, probably will give you better results. It's always going to be better. But um, how good is your background remover? Yeah, so we're we're constantly working on it. So having a green screen or blue screen um, is definitely not necessary. It will give you uh, a cleaner, crisper quality. Um, but just general background removal is. Um, is pretty great and just having a clean background of sorts will do wonders um, uh, for your video. All right, so talk a little bit about, I guess, how I'm buying the virtual virtual backgrounds. Do they come as a package or individually? Right, so we have um, two subscription plans. We have a Pro and Studio, and Pro is our lower plan. And once you've subscribed to Pro, you have access to all of our environments. And so we have everything from um, our sand planet here, as well as, um, uh, cyberpunk cities, uh, castles, futuristic stuff, um, as well as everyday places like the beach, offices, coffee shops, restaurants, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. And like I said, we're constantly adding more. Uh, what kind of pricing is there for those two plans? Um, so the pro plan, our lower plan is uh, $18 a month. And then the studio plan is $48 a month. And so the, the difference between the two is that the, the studio plan um, is, is what allows you to bring in the extra environments um, as well as a few other uh, abilities. But both of them as well um, offer a high quality export uh, processing as well as AI relighting for your clips. I wanted to get to the AI relighting. Talk a little bit about that, how it works and what it adds to the, uh, the end video. Right, so um, when you're recording your video and you're satisfied with your take, you can send it out for, um, uh, you can export it for um, high quality processing um, and have the option to do AI relighting. So quite often um, when you're filming a scene, the lighting in the room is probably not gonna match the lighting of the virtual set that you're on. So if you're at a nighttime futuristic city with neon lights, um, it's not gonna match the lighting of maybe your studio. And so what's great is when you send it off uh, for processing, um, it takes maybe about 40 minutes and um, it relights it in a way so that um, it looks like the character is there, like your actors are there. Um, if there's a neon light over here, the neon light will kind of dynamically shine on your face as you move across it. Um, and so the same goes for our, our sand planets and all of our other uh, settings. 
makes a lot of sense because that way it looks like you're really in that environment as opposed to in my living room with the environment in, in the exactly. background. Exactly. Yes. So it fixes the lighting so you as, as the actor don't look flat on the screen. You look like you're actually there. Perfect. Uh, the website where folks can go to learn more. Um, skyglass.com. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> folks, more from Las Vegas and NAB. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.